everybody, George back at it, and uh, real quick tip on slicer, let me get back to it, and uh, so, slicer, now, let's just uh, start off with what I'm doing right now, currently, I'm hooking up an analog signal to right here, I'm going to use the white one, somewhere right there, once I solder that on, I'll have the filament sensor going, then I have an analog. I've talked to GTEC. We'll see how we can fix this. Because I want more options on this. And, uh, my little Marvin's. Mini skull. So, say you got a problem like this. You want to make that solid, but not the whole part. Easiest way. If you got small thresholds, as you can see, normally it's set to 70. I had it set to zero because I wanted the infill to go all the way. However, I'm having a strength issue. And I want to change that. So first this is uh, 30 five to forty percent infill. I'm going to fifty. Going honeycomb, rectilinear infills, and my solid infill threshold area is going to be eighty millimeters squared. Now we'll head back over to my repetier host and just as you get to the base of this, as you can see it's doing its infill. Once it gets to where the hole is, boom, now it's solid. Now this whole little arm is solid. You can see, so basically from this point forward, I'm going to see if that's strong enough and how that does. If not, we'll do that. So, peace. Catch you on the next one.